sorry about that. There was no sound, but I was getting <laughs> very excited about the numbers and the attendance of the of the first day of the of the calling event in Antwerp, Belgium, the biggest event in Europe. We are, I, th I think we don't say that enough. You know, it's the biggest yeah. event in the history of the game. Three years after the the, the birth of the game and uh, after some difficulties getting it in, in Europe, but now it's getting bigger and bigger every single month. We see lots of stores getting into jam and into organized play. It's amazing how the reception of the of the game so far. And uh, yeah, biggest event in Europe so yeah, far. It's uh, it's not like it's having like a very steady growth as well, which yeah. is very nice. Like I think in the last year or so, there was like at least 25% growth yeah. and that, that, that's good. If we can keep that up and if it keeps on uh, going up exponentially, then yeah. we're going to get there soon. Very excited about, uh, about the next game, by the way. So uh, maybe, can we go to the, to the feature table, by the way? Okay. So yeah, you can see the player standing up. There was an issue with someone getting stuck in the toilets, I think. I won't say who it was <laughs> because it's... But yeah, look at the, the feature table we chose for you guys. I know that some of you have to be excited in chat. I mean, we have... Uh, <laughs> I know against Suzuri. We have two underdogs of, yeah. the, of Flesh and Blood here, eh? Uzuri and Reiner. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much for the sub, Monkey Minded. Rainer and Duzuri, yeah. <laughs> See? Brutes can compete in this environment. Rainer! Look at that! What's the name of the, um, of the Rainer players? You know, you have the, the Azalia cult. Is that the, the Rainer gang? The Rainer crew? The Rainer demolition crew? What's the name the, of the... The Rainer flock. <laughs> the flock. It's a, it's a flock, it's a flock of, of Reiners. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, Golden Donkey is a Reiner player. I know him. So what's the name of the Reiner players? The Brut Oh, Oli is from Finland. Nice. Town of Brutes in Finland. I, I don't think I want to go to a town of Brutes in Finland. I want to go to Finland, but a town of Brutes sounds, sounds intimidating, you know? Well, that's all point of Brutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> it has to be intimidating. <laughs> Yeah, Toraya. Glenn is on table one, and uh, I, I'm, I mean, you know Glenn, so there's a, I felt that, like there was a good chance that we could feature him further down the line, maybe in the top eight, hopefully. So I was like, yeah, let's wait a little bit for Glenn because he's been running so hot that there's, there, there will come a point where we'll be able to feature him. But I wasn't sure about, the, about these heroes because you know that the reputation of the metagame is that it's a bit unforgiving for uh, smaller power level heroes like uh, like Reiner and, uh, and Uzuri, but maybe it's just uh, it's just a wrong uh, assertion, and maybe they, they have what it takes to compete at the highest level. I mean, Reiner is very good at pushing damage and forcing the opponent to yeah, take it. Definitely. So if you have a Reiner player that really knows the key points of mm -hmm. other decks well. They can compete, yeah. And I think that's probably the hardest thing for newer players as well to grasp, is to constantly think and know what can the opponent do. Yeah, like you know your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> and it it is difficult to know your enemy when your enemy, Uzui, is oh, a yes. pretty new hero. You know, yes. so you yeah. Even if you uh, if you know what it does, sometimes you don't know the lines of play, the the patterns, and uh, it can be difficult to to anticipate what's going to happen. And the deck is still quite experimental, I would say. Yeah. I think people have settled on the red lineup build now, but we've seen variations of mm -hmm. it. And look at this sideboard. We see the spreading play. A humble. Yeah. Some of them are playing humble because if it hits, it can be de devastating to some heroes. So. Down is and it? dirty for the, yeah. for the range of matchups. And the frailty traps? No, apparently not. Yeah, I don't think you, you want to use the frailty traps. <laughs> Gotta love oh, humbling what? my opponents, yeah. What does Laura Sit say? Sit down, be humble. I'm not even going to try to pronounce what Laura said. The Reiner just do the something shuffle. 
smash the deck on the oh, floor. Oh, is that a thing? And shuffle against the floor. <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> is that a legal way of shuffling? I don't know, but maybe it's legal in Finland, you know? <laughs> Golden Donkey is sharing the three builds of Zuri Redline contract and more attack reaction based from but Francesco. I think there's some amount of uh, attack reactions in the contract build too, isn't it? I think so. I would assume so, yeah. Mm -hmm. so you, well, you want your contract set. Yeah. And thanks for all the follows, guys, by the way. Don't hesitate and follow if you don't follow us now because there's some more action coming in the next few weeks. We're going to be live at the Battle Arden Metropole Ruhr in Germany. Uh, we'll be live from, not from, from the ground there, but uh, we'll be live from, uh, from France, but with a, lot, a great team of casters, which I'm assembling right now. It's going to be a great event with our friends from Germany. They've put together a great event and making sure that all the communities in Europe can uh, can join in the fun, even in the US, I think, can join in the fun and make sure that uh, there's some event uh, broadcast there. Or oh, probably not in the US because our friends in uh, in the UK are doing it, by the way. But yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, that's Chat Freedom, sorry guys, but there was a mistake, someone misclicked on, uh, on the shield, on the chat shield, I don't know what the name, the exact name is, but uh, yeah, followers, uh, you had to be follower for one month to, to be able to post previously, but uh, it's over now. You can just post freely, guys. It wasn't slow mode, it was even more restrictive than slow mode, but yeah. It was ultra slow mode. Ultra slow mode, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, but I... I love that both players are just taking the time shuffling because they both know it's probably going to be a quick game. <laughs> yeah. There is a good chance it, it's getting... But at some point, you know, these, these decks, both of these decks can slow down the pace of the game if they need to. They have some good defensive capabilities, so I'm excited to see how, how they, have, they approach it. I mean, I would assume that Reiner is capable of making sure that Uzuri cannot block optimally. Yeah. And sometimes if you, don't, if you don't have access to the defense reactions or to the cards that you want to defend with, and if all your stealth cards or contract cards are in the banish zone during your opponent's turn, it's, um, it's a bit difficult. I think the Rhino started shuffling. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. We're doing the best we can, but we have... Uh, by the way, it's a good time to remind you that we, we are supported by Plain, a great French store, probably one of uh, the greatest French stores for TCGs. And you can go to the, what, their website and buy some singles or board games or whatever you want. So thanks to, uh, to Plain. Thanks also to LSS for supporting us in this stream. And thanks to the team at TC for making sure that it's a great event and for making us as comfortable as possible. I mean, considering the fact that we haven't slept in two days, by the way. <laughs> so which daggers do you think Zuri is going to bring against Rhino? Assuming that there's multiple options in the sideboard. Yeah, I, I, I think you have to go to, I mean, I hope it, uh, we can see the contract build with the um, nice attack reactions, like the the blood rod def attack reactions can be particularly dangerous if it hits. I personally, I quite like the, the stealth build with the big attacks. Yeah. Like all the two drops coming down, command and conquers out of nowhere. Well, I, I think we've seen the, 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 the command and conquers and the hornballs too come in. Could so still probably. be a mix of both, I guess. Yeah, yeah, probably. I've seen these sleeves yesterday, okay. but I don't think it was Christopher. So, so using the nerve scalpel and uh, what's yeah. the, and the, the black... spider spite? Yeah, spider uh, spite and nerve scalpel useful against the defense reaction. Nerve, sc nerve scalpel, and we see the black tech whisperers, the, the boots, the assassin boots. Uh, so maybe that's a contract build because he's gonna be able to buy back the boots with the silver tokens, you know, if it if it hits a lot. I think so too. 
Okay, so who's starting? Apparently, it's the Rainer player because he's like, okay, let me just roll this die. Okay, <laughs> a sign at the camera showing. Oh, damn! But it's the first time, so so it's okay, right? It doesn't if, matter if, if you, yeah. If, if Rhino rolls his once now, mm -hmm. that's fine. But then again, the first turn you want to push damage with a yeah. a full on intimidate, right? So losing that damage momentum right there might be quite painful. Oh, Sigma with the with the numbers. Next roll is two percent for a, for a one now, so that's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> Statistically, it's pretty good. I mean, we need to start calculating as of the roll right now, not on averages, right? Because this one already happened. Mm -hmm. It's not a not a, a group. So uh, I don't know what mode it shows, but at least eight damage. I guess we'll see. Well, there's one card in hand, so it's, uh, it's either five go again or a seven plus the three. So. Yeah. Oh, that was so a, a oh yeah, so that, that was a All ten. Right. Okay, and Oli was like, oh, "Yeah, I'm a brute. I, I think I'll take it, and I'll come back strong." <laughs> Let's see. Can they roll something? Yeah. That's another one. Let's see what he had in his opening end. By the way, oh, the blood rush, oh, <laughs> wow. amazing. Yeah, so there you go. Starting off like like an absolute brute. Oh, I, li I like the fact that he lets his opponent uh, roll the die. Okay, there's gonna be a card draw. Yeah. Oh, the skull cracks, so one resource. It is a skull crack, right? I think so, yeah. It is round. 12 out of 13, so only yeah, the, one, round, one round of Swiss after that one. Oh yeah, only when, when it's discarded, yeah, sorry. Okay, so what do you do now? Do, does he have enough attacks in hand to... I, I'm pretty sure he won't roll the die now, because you don't want... you can't afford to, to waste a Blood Arch below turn, so probably just... He does still have attacks. the, the gambler's glove, so the risk would you is do it? kind of small, but using it this early. Would you do it? Tell the I truth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Chat is watching, so tell the truth. Would you do it? I would. Are you a gambler? I mean, can he still do it after this, uh, the blood rush battle, this um, combat chain at the end of the turn? Because the claws have go again anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chat is never wrong, yeah. Chat is watching and chat is never wrong. Oh, the swing big, nice. So that's a nice 10 attack swing big. <laughs> that's a very big swing. No intimidate though, but it cannot be blocked yeah. fully. Unless there's an attack reaction. A six oh no, block. even, yeah, oh, that's there, 10. There's yeah. the full 10, perfect. It's gonna be hard to, to take advantage of the quicken token, but still, fully blocked. I mean, having a contract with yeah. Quicken is quite good, if there are contracts. We do see one on the table there. Mm -hmm. the Looks like the contract build, but there's a shakedown because it's in both versions of the deck anyway. And I think it's not a... I think he's running a German card because it's not the same... Uh, it's not the same uh, way to write it in... Uh, it's not two words, you know, on the, on the shakedown. It's one long word, so it's probably... It's probably I, I think Christopher is German, right? Does, does anyone know in chat? I mean, I'm, chat knows, so... Chat always knows. Yeah. Chat knows everyone. He's German, so yeah. <laughs> so that's Abpressen. Abpressen in German. Lots of Germans in chat, right? Looks like it. Chat is Illuminati, yeah. All right, I'm afraid now. Okay, the, the second blood rush below. Never hey, happy to see that. Intimidate. Yeah. I mean, Ali has been drawing gas like crazy up until mm -hmm. now. 
Bloedrulpser. Bloedrulpser has to be bloodrot, right? I suppose so. <laughs> Bloedrulpser. <laughs> okay, so five go again for the Monday Blue Claw, thanks to the, the Blood Rush Bellow. Only one Intimidator, so mm -hmm. it's relatively easy to mitigate the damage now. Oh, God, Belching, Blue Trilps, okay. Blue Trilps. Uh, blue has to be blood, so it stands for Gore, I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, parts of my fa family are German, so I, I know how the words sound. I don't understand most of them, but I know how they're supposed to sound. How they're supposed to sound. Another attack for five. Go again with the with the mandible claw. Still two cards two in hand cards still, in hand. so probably another attack after the, after this one. That's yeah, probably gonna be an eight at the end. Mm -hmm. Can you feel it coming? The surgical stopping tree damage. <laughs> oh, another one. Another swim, big, yeah. So that's for 10. There's mm, a slight fun. glare, sorry about that, but it can't be avoided, but... Uh, yeah, thanks to the die, you can see that it's a 10 attack and it's that it has to be a swing big. Looking for four Is now. the life title updated properly? Uh, yeah, 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 because he blocked it out on the on the previous turn. Almost blocked it out. The, the previous turn. He, he took two attacks from the close, I think. Now he's gonna take six. There's gonna be another Arsenal awesome yeah. pass, I guess, for Uzuri yes. now. The life totals are almost even again. Yeah. But that's uh, two Blood Rush Bellows gone, so... <laughs> yeah, it has to feel good. For Uzuri. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I not for, for all the obvious... Now it's tough yeah. seeing the opponent at 30 life and mm -hmm. not really having that big combo available. Okay, again. rolling now. Oh, well, that's another one at least. Yeah, to the Blood Rush you challenge an e strike, a single e strike. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> High now is in stream, but yeah, these guys are fighting for top eight, so we figured that it was a good idea to show them now. Because at least one of them would be out of contention, so. Yeah, Ryan's <laughs> you like your swings? There's a, new, there's a new poll. So, do you, do you like your swings big? This guy is a proper rhino main. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sage says, can't roll above two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now some intimidating. Uh, I don't think we have the list available right now, Sigma. We, we are not allowed to talk about the list until the top eight, unfortunately, because they are private and if there's information leaking, it's not fair to the people that are on the other side of the leak, so we won't do it. So that's a smash instinct, I guess? That's Smash Instinct Real, yeah. yeah. It's just a plain 6, no on it, so... Look at that art. It can be very <laughs> tempting to take that damage and yeah. then just coming in with... It is just damage, but you know that some damage is gonna come <laughs> probably in the next few turns, so... I think that Quicken token is uh, yeah. kind of making some... Some oh, yeah, decisions yeah. harder than they should be. Mm -hmm. Okay, just blocking with the backstab, at least blocking some of the damage. The, car, the, the art on Smash Instinct is insane. Look at that. Basically Hulk Smash. 
Uh, 27 life and having four cards is also quite good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Spider's Bite to open up the, the combat chain. Gonna make it difficult for Oli to block because with so many attack actions, Bit if there's a sticky CNC or humble, it could be interesting. We've seen the shakedowns too, can be devastating. I think one of them got blocked with, right? Mm -hmm. Decker. Oh, it went the arsenal, didn't get blocked with. The shred makes it interesting though. Oh, but if it's played, if the shakedown is played without the, the, the attack reaction activation, it doesn't do its effect, I think. Yeah, but I think oh, the, the shred will Oh, yeah, but he has a shred, it, so. so... Yeah, 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 nice. Interesting. So, the... so he is gonna, yeah. So the shred is gonna make sure it works. Blocking for seven. Asking the opponent if they want to activate Proven is always such a mm -hmm. good show of uh, sportsmanship. That's a shred, so only blocking for four now. Is there a defense reaction? Oh, there you go. The fate foreseen at the perfect moment. Nice. Christopher, a bit disappointed. You can see the, the way he moved his hands. <laughs> you can read the body language with the hands. But still, that's uh, two cards gone, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tuning is back to one. But the I guess nice the, the tempo will, will, will slow down a little bit now. Oh, Alpha Rampage! Discarding so the beast within. Yeah. Nice. So the, it is a big attack now. Not not many attacks, but at least one big alpha rampage with the double intimidate. Oh, there's a six. <laughs> Never roll a six when you absolutely need it, you know. Okay, so this one is coming in for 9, right? And even if it's just 9 damage, you know you have to block some of it, you know? The thing I, is... don't, I don't think uh, um, even uh, an efficient turn on Uzuri can do much more than 9, so... You'd, you'd need two attack reactions to make more than that. I think Nuzuri definitely wants to play the long game to yeah. get the most value. Oh, so that's a CNC the from the hand, which could have been played as, uh, as an attack reaction with the hero power, but uh, discarding it, I mean, blocking with it. In Let's see. What, Isolate what used. Is Isolate is now used to, I, to pitch. I I think that's a nimblism in hand and something else. Yeah, I think there's a nimblism and a leave no witnesses. So it, c I mean, it, there's a good chance it hits if it, if it. I mean, if this spider no bite witness for seven is a very good break point, especially, especially after the spider's bite, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, or it takes the whole hand. Unless there's an attack action. In all his end. But even then. Yeah. That demands a full hand block. Or using the last counter. Yeah. On these ca scab skin leathers. There you go. Oh, the high roller, so he's the <laughs> he's the kind of player who plays high, high roller in his Dreiner deck. Okay, there's a five. Yeah. I mean, at some point he has to, to roll a six if he wants to do a huge turn, but... 
I mean, Rhino's still at a healthy life total that they can easily decide to just take full damage for a turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bajik beat down red. Okay, so attacking for seven with the claw, but if you block with two cards, it's less intimidating, yeah. Okay, and you just pitch a reckless swing, I think. So, no. It's One of those reckless is gone for a while, and the isolate. This can be a trick just to peel yeah. it out from the hand and then the last mm -hmm. card just goes in arsenal anyway. In this situation, maybe you just don't even want to block with anything and... Oh. Okay. Okay, yeah, nice. Was a trick. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So let's see. Oh, there you go! The six at last! Okay. There's a Tomo Frailty in the hand. Yeah. I think I saw Ravenous Rebel and a Sing below. Okay. Savage Feast. Intimidating. So how many cards does, does he have left in hand? Probably two? I think this is the first card they played. And mm -hmm. They blocked but one, so there should be one card left in hand. Because the other one is an arsenal, so... Byram says that uh, Pack Hunt is in the arsenal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blocking with the Codex and, and the Sing below, so... Yeah, I think he realized that he's probably gonna have to, to block early because uh, the rest of the Ezen will be intimidated. So even uh, even though having a Codex would be fine, he probably will have to, to block. Well, maybe not. And if you play the They're long game, they're not using the dice. Try... They don't like us, maybe. If you play the long game and you wait for the Blood Rush Ballot to come yeah. out, the last one. And then maybe wait for the two Alpha Rampages and you're in a good spot. And the pack hunt to finish the chain. Okay, so Christopher is pretty low now. Look at it. He's at 12. Yeah, that's harsh. One, one proper intimidate turn and yeah, it's but gone. He yeah that's the first actual intimidate turn that that is a, did a lot of damage but there there you go maybe he can come back with the cnc i think we see a cnc in hand so that's probably what's gonna happen which would mean he keeps the the revenue rabble for the for for next turn which is kind of weird i think when you want to come back with as much power as you can okay so Blocked with the skull crack, I think. Yeah. They're not being in Arsenal's rough, though. Yeah. Don't get much value out of it, and that's what can happen with common conquer. You know, sometimes it's just six damage, and, and not much uh, else. Did all you just take all of it just now? Or? No, you blocked with the with the skull crack, so he took he took three. So oh, there's an East Dragon hand. I see an infect. What else is in there? Yeah, East Dragon infects. That's the only cards I can. Oh, the CNC. Okay, so that's Ali only still for has six. one card left yeah. in hand. But no resources for an eventual pummel. Spreading play could be quite good. 
Okay, so blocking for five and crying away the card. Doesn't want to take too much damage. And as long as the card is uh, at the bottom of his deck and not in his arsenal, it's okay to get hit by Command and Conquer. Okay, so the Rabble, attacking for four, go again. Thanks. So to this. to move uh, Rabble into East yeah. Strike? I guess so, yeah. Doesn't look like a Minuzuri deck, does it? <laughs> looks more like an Acro deck to be honest. Absolutely, yeah. Looks like a Briar Redliner from back in the day. Oh yes. <laughs> Remember that one? <laughs> At the first French Nationals, it was insane how the, the so, best players ran with it. No idea if this one has go again or not, but probably it's just plus two, right? If the yeah, it looks Arsenal like it. Setup. Oh no! Oh, it is the seven. Well, well, we expect the seven. Mm -hmm, but I don't remember if you can use the spreading plague as a reaction on a non-assassin attack. But that could make a lot of damage. That could that could be very important in the if there's a double block, for example. I think getting the spreading plague in Arsenal is good. Oh, so now maybe he wants to use it. There you go. So that's two Blood Rot Pox tokens. Interesting. So that's still four damage. I mean, Oli is probably happy about it. That he used it now without some damage leaking from the attack itself, but still. And it's it is to something. have the blood rot early mm -hmm. as a Rhino play if it's in the late game and you need to stop pitching for it. It's, oh, it's the other six. That's another six, Kugan. Look at that. So, yeah, it doesn't have too many cards in hand to profit from it, but maybe he'll be able to. Oh, yeah, he, he can just use the claws to to come in and doesn't need to give them go again because he has his action points. Interesting. Sonic says that not three blood rod. I think they block with just two cards. I didn't see a third card. Is that you? Mm, I think, yeah. I think that was two. But isn't it on the attack itself? Can we go back on uh, spreading play? On the chain link, not on the combat chain. There you go. Thank you. So chat is not always right. My world is crumbling. I don't know what to believe in anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All my belief system is is crashed. Chat is wrong. Oh my god. Okay, blocking with the shred. This big, Lusuri big mandible is claw attack. Really low on life. Yeah. Like seriously low on life. There's a leaf no witness in hand though, I think. So that's gonna be a solid thing to play, I suppose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rolling a dice to use one action point, yeah. Okay, only the leave no witnesses is fine. I mean, no, there's no arsenal, so it's nothing. It's just a zero for four. It's basically almost as bad as Express Lightning. But My least favorite card that I have to play. Top. What? You still get to banish something from the top. Yeah. So. But I mean, in, probably in this matchup, it's not gonna matter. Imagine banishing a Blood Rush Bellow at that point, so that would be so painful. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, so banishing the Alpha Rampage from the top of that's the deck, a, maybe it is relevant. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. And that's what can happen with these assassins sometimes, you know? Even uh, Arachne, the, the assassin that's supposed to, to win by discarding cards, uh, by banishing cards from the top of the deck of the, their opponent. 
Sometimes you banish like the most important card in your opponent's deck at, the, at this particular time and you win with it. Okay. Sometimes it's not about the money. Cube. Yeah. Sometimes it's just about banishing the good cards. Yeah, because th there's only one silver, so he can't really use the Black Tech Whispers uh, efficiently or not, destroy them and get them back at the beginning of the next turn. But it might be something to consider. Because the, yeah, the left totals are actually a little bit closer than what we see. Because there's two blocks on Christopher's side and only one block on Oli's side. Five go again for the E strike. I mean, you have to block this one, right? Yeah. You're too low because anyway. This, this you have no way to gain half. And this is the only moment that uh, Christopher has to be able to mm -hmm. choose what they want to block with. Yeah. And I think he has a codex with all these uh, leave no witnesses in the, in the graveyard. It's perfect. And the fra frailty trap? Inertia trap. Is that the inertia? That's the inertia trap, yeah. yeah. Is it live because to go again? Or is it some other requirement? No, it's, uh, it's the, it, has, it needs to target a card with greater, uh, greater power than its base power. Okay, and now... A manable cloak attack. Blocking with the other inertia trap, okay? <laughs> there you go. And now I think he can just... Maybe if he has a go again attack... Oh no, he has another... Another leave no witnesses. So he might be able to go leave no witnesses if it hits. Oh, but he probably won't hit. But if it hits, you can go black tech whispers and go codex another leave no witnesses. I don't know how much sense it does in this situation, but... I mean, Ali might be considering it now that uh, Usuri is at 9. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, just taking the damage and leaving the, the card from the... But he's very, the he's being stuff, very cautious, though. yeah. I mean, it depends on what's in it, but it looks like he wants to block. Yeah, so that's two cards, including a CNC. Hey, Shred could have been great, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, he kept the codex in his arsenal for next turn. I think there's a hurl. I think I see a hurl in. Um... Oh! Another six! <laughs> but it's basically the same thing that we saw last turn. He won't be able to profit fully from it. Probably use it for the mandible clause. Hey, there's a savage okay, feast. Okay, savage feast, yeah. Nice. Discarding the beast within. Getting losing two life. Yeah, and getting the swing big. Savage feast. Coming in for six. And the swing mid and yeah. Well, the swing big cannot be played to stone. Yeah, no, not enough resources, unfortunately. But then, what was the point of rolling here? I, I have no idea. I'm not a Reinar player, by the way, so you can't ask me for, for uh, input on uh, what Reinar players do. I know that I get intimidated and, ah, they, they, can't and they crush the me. Feast, that must yeah. Be <laughs> yeah, yeah, he has one card from the Savage Feast. For some reason, I thought Savage Freeze is just a vanilla six. <laughs> it would be sad. Okay, so blocking for six, and then the swing big. Oh, yeah, the, the second reckless swing. Uh, eight is a lot. Pitching the second reckless swing for the, for the swing big. So the, probably the... I think we've seen two reckless swings. At the bottom, and, uh, I'm pretty sure he's not close to the to the second cycle. So, I 
Yeah, you need to block. So blocking him with Hurl. I think it only blocks for two though. So down to tree, Nine. still tree block available mm -hmm. on the equipment tower, which might be relevant later on. Yeah. And I guess at the point, if Azuri wants to win, then uh, she has to really present lethal every single turn going mm -hmm. forward. Scalpel for one. Christopher is expecting that reckless swing or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, using the flick knives to deal one damage by destroying that poor spider's bite. So no spider's bite until the end of the game. And that's a, a cause of frailty in the arsenal, right? Mm-hmm. So that will force a discard on yeah. minor as well? And then just go for Leaf No Witness, I suppose. Yeah, I think that's the. And now they the have to block with two cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The question is can Oli get something back from his graveyard that's gonna make it relevant for the. Oh no, ah, he's going hard, yeah, because he wants to uh, to put some pressure. This, uh, if he manages to defend uh, to defend the next turn, maybe the death touch is the best way to. With the blood rot, he can do a lot of damage. Oh yeah, maybe the alpha rampage in the arsenal, if he has enough resources. I think he's gonna get back a, an East strike. Yeah, there you go. That's a good target. Mm-hmm. And still needing to discard. And the death touch com coming from the arsenal. Doesn't the reincarnate get a discard trigger now, or is it only with uh, Rhinos effects? Oh yeah, but there were no cards in the end anyway. But yeah, I think I can really look at, at Rhinos card, but I think you're supposed to to discard a card from. Uh, I mean, to to get intimidated out of one card. Oh yeah, only if discarded that random, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. And it triggers only on its turn. Okay, okay. Thank you, Reiner players. Thank you so much, uh, Reiner chat. Look how in intense they are about tri Reiner triggers. People love Reiner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All three of the Reiner mains in chat. <laughs> now one is sitting at the table now. Yeah. Okay, so he's sticking it to the face and, and saying, yeah, okay, like give me maybe a Blood Rot Pox token. <laughs> oh no, two, two frailty. Two frailty. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice. So that's gonna be a small CN, uh, a small East strike. Hit with big stick. Yeah. I mean, look at Oli. Maybe your time has come already. But since you are not here, Golden Donkey, why are you not playing today, by the way, Johnny? Oh. Yeah, not a good time to come play to, <laughs> to 
to travel for an event if you are about to move out. Yeah, definitely. The star is seen in Malta, definitely. So now a lot of going through the graveyard to figure out what are the yeah. remaining plays. See, you said that it was going to be a, a fast game, but now at this point, they have to slow down. Oh, wait! <laughs> Every time I talk about this, there's a big after rampage coming in. So there you go. Losing two cards to block from hand. Well, that's the equipment being used for the block now. Though. Yeah, and now... Yeah, he has to block with the equipment now. He can block for three. That's Basically six, six. able to stay alive. Okay, the second one. We can hear the die like rolling on the on the other table. Still okay for Uzuri, I guess. Just double block and then block with one of the equipment, I suppose. Yeah, I mean you need to. Can you afford to get down to two? I don't think you can. The reckless swing is. Uh, we saw two reckless swings used to, for pitching, but uh, pro they're probably one cycle back. Does Rhino run three reckless swings or just two? Hey, Pat Smash Good. Pat Smash Good has to be a Rhino player, right? With a name like that? Hey, Smash Good. Good morning, Pat. <laughs> uh, Pat is definitely a ninja main. Oh, yeah? Definitely. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so, oh, he's keeping... Yeah, he wants to keep the, the flick knives. Interesting. So he's going down to two. The thing is, if you can swing that nerve scalpel at the right moment, then... Mm -hmm. That can be lethal. Yeah, and sometimes your, offer, your opponent forgets about the, the fling knives, obviously, so yeah. He doesn't have much to defend with, um, for, uh, to attack with. I mean, look at that. There's a Fate for Sin and a Shred in his hand. So uh, yeah, he has to attack oh, with the, with the right. Nerf Scalpel. I think Christopher is saying, yeah, well, if you have a reckless swing, I've lost, but I need to, I need to do something. Yeah, it is probably GG, yeah, there's no way there's gonna, there will not be a, a big intimidate turn before the... Jikilai tribe, how do you say Jikilai? Is that Jikilai? Yukilai? Yukilai? <laughs> Jikilai. The ball dribbling is the, the dice rolling on the table. It's the rhino rolling dice. Like Jikilai, okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I just say, Law. Jikilai. Okay, so the E-strike for five, I guess. Five go again, yeah. Gonna have to block with the Fate for Sin. Oh, the Sin below, he had the Sin below too. Wow. Okay, that's fully blocked. Combat chain is being closed. Well, you have to fully block now because you're at one, so. Oh! Is it enough, though? Maybe not because he, he still has two cards. Oh, the second one, so that's the end, right? It should be. 
I mean, I don't know because there, there might be a fate for Sin in the Arsenal. I think he had a fate for Sin and I don't think he played it. Oh no, he had nothing. So there you go. All right. Nice. <laughs> So, I know, why not top point. so yeah, now. maybe if he wins the next round, he, he might be in. Very nice game. Jikilai. Yeah, absolutely. Jikilai. <laughs> that was 100% Jikilai, right? Yes. <laughs> I yes. don't know what it means. Whatever but, it means. Yeah, probably, uh, yeah. I hope it's not something bad. <laughs> it probably comes from the, the Finnish um, brood town that they talked about earlier, you know? There's a okay. town in, in Finland where they, they're all Prele Bruts. But why is they all live town? naked and, <laughs> and they play Bruts all day long. Like every army fan is just eight rhinos playing yeah. against each other. <laughs> and trying to see how much intimidate they can get going, yeah. So that was a long game, so we'll take a short break right now so we can make sure that we come back for the last, uh, the last Swiss round um, in full force, be able to, um, to provide the best uh, coverage possible for this last round. There might be a, a Pro Tour champion at the last table. Uh, I can't promise it, but there's a good chance that we'll show a, a Pro Tour winner for the, for the winning in for the top eight. So don't leave, stay with us, and we'll be right back. Thanks, guys. <laughs> 